Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, April 24th, and it's Mary Kimball, and I'm here at the Maples, our new headquarters. And I decided, since I normally do a Friday visit, check on construction, I'd show all of you what's going on here. Can't do our May 14th grand opening, super sad about that, but I can do a little bit of a virtual tour. So, here's our grand entrance, and uh, as you can see, it is uh, really pretty much done. There's a little bit of, of last final trim to be completed, but overall it's, it's almost there. Uh, we come in here with the, these beautiful lights that we actually have all the way around the building and lovely concrete work to our entrance front doors. And then this is our incredible reception desk that has just been installed uh, by California Office Furniture. There's going to be a big metal right here. There's going to be a big metal cutout of the Center for Land-Based Learning logo. But uh, this is a pretty nice place to sit, don't you think? <laughs> this is going to be Kendra, our office manager's uh, beautiful location to be greeting folks from. Uh, these, these rooms here are uh, some, well, we've got supply room, completing, finishing up the HVAC system. We've got uh, office here, administra administrative office. Over here is a small meeting room, downstairs meeting room, uh, which will also include, as you can see on the wall there, we'll have LCD screens so we can also do uh, meetings virtually since that's pretty much important right now and forever more, I'm sure. Uh, wow, equipment room. Going down the hallway here, uh, this is a really cool a new piece of furniture that has been was built custom for us, and it's for our students, our, our beginning farmer students, or really anyone who comes in to the classroom. They have a place to um, hang up their, you know, their jackets or whatever it might be, put their shoes, sit down, and then we go in here to the classroom. This is the first classroom we've ever had for the Center for Land-Based Learning. Uh, again, California Office Furniture in West Sacramento has done a great job for us. These are in really great, comfortable chairs. I, I look forward to everybody being able to come in and, and enjoy them. Uh, and a custom piece uh, at the top of the room here for shelving and storage. And two locations on the wall here for two LCD screens. This room is being set up, and actually was anyway, uh, before COVID, it was being set up as a Zoom classroom. And so we are going to be able to do distance learning from this, from this classroom. This seats 25 people, which is just perfect for California Farm Academy class, but again, for really a lot of things. So we look forward to seeing everybody here in the future. We'll go out to the courtyard in just a bit. But I'm going to keep uh, traveling along the bottom floor here. And as you can see, all of these beautiful doors and windows, these are all from Sierra Pacific uh, in Northern California, one of the most sustainable, if not the most sustainable, uh, forestry company in California. Again, there's a view out to our beautiful courtyard. Uh, this is our, our kitchen here for staff. Um, for obviously breaks and so on. This just got installed yesterday. A nice little area for staff and we'll have um, stools here for folks to sit and eat or do some work from. This uh, goes out onto our back patio and as you can see our artist Wes Horn is building our beautiful wood-fired oven. So that's probably about halfway to go uh, to get completed. And we have, as well, another break room area. Also kind of, you know, when folks come in, we could also meet in here as well. And it's rigged for future if we need more workstations uh, as we grow. So going up the stairs, we have two sets of stairs in this building, which is very nice. It gives us a lot of accessibility. So this is the northern wing of kind of the top part of our, of our building. Uh, one set of workstations here. And uh, these, are, again, were all installed last week by California Office Furniture. A few more things to, to bring in. This is the beautiful Cache Creek balcony. 
overlooking the wood-fired oven and of course overlooking Cache Creek. A few more things to do out here, but overall it's almost completed. Uh, there's Matt down there, <laughs> Matt Clement, and he is uh, working on the landscaping. So he's one of our staff people who's been doing a lot of work out here. So this is another piece of beautiful custom furniture that was made for us. Uh, this is really gonna be for all of our uh, outreach materials, brochures, all that kind of good stuff. So we have it all in one place. Uh, moving again through this top floor, we're gonna have some kind of really beautiful artwork right there. I'm not sure what, we gotta figure that out. We've got some closed door offices here. This is one of the kind of director's offices uh, with a beautiful view of the Coast Range and the currently the alfalfa field, which is being irrigated right now. We'll move over to the, uh, well, to my office, you know, very important. I've got two views here. I've got the creek, and actually there's the irrigation happening right now. And I have the front side, that's Highway 16, I'm sorry, 113. And again, there's the Coast Range. Great, great views really from all around up here. Um, the other thing that's really important to know about what we did with this building is that every single one of the rooms has its own system. It has its own thermostat. This is a Daikon system, D-A-I-K-I-N, from Japan. They started in the 80s and they're really one of the most, the preeminent uh, HVAC companies in terms of energy efficiency in the world. So we're very, very excited to be able to be walking the walk in terms of energy efficiency here and be net zero. This is our upstairs conference room. That Imagine a table here. It'll be coming in next week and that the table will be oriented this direction. Probably have eight to 10 chairs. And again, a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful view um, from both sides of this, of this uh, room for folks when they come and visit. This is another one of our uh, offices for directors. Again, the individual unit in each room. Bathroom, oh yes, very exciting. This has like a crazy uh, fan. <laughs> kind of like an airplane engine starting up. It's really loud. We're gonna probably work on getting that changed. But uh, beautiful tile work that's been completed. And then back out here, this is gonna be a nice little seating area. As you can see, the, the beautiful valley oak tree is, is almost out in full leaf right now. And uh, she's doing a great job of overseeing everything. And here we are to the main part of the workstation area. There's 10 workstations in here for our staff. Uh, and these um, all are oriented so that in some cases, you know, we're kind of, you're, you can be back to back uh, looking out the window if you want, or you can be looking, obviously, if you wanted to, you could be looking towards this direction everybody kind of has a choice on that and they have each everybody has their own little storage unit to um, hang up their jackets and then have areas to to keep their stuff and another little kind of rolling file cabinet as well and this is another built-in unit that uh, again that was made for us um, and for this space, which absolutely, I'm just seeing it for the first time actually, just got done yesterday, uh, and just looks beautiful under that set of windows. Uh, looking out the windows, we have, of course, a beautiful view from this uh, top floor. That is our long barn right there. That is the washing and cooling station for all of our farmers. It has a bathroom, so what I'm pointing out right here there's a bathroom on the right side, there's a shower on the left side, and there's a storage in the middle. We've actually never had a flush toilet bathroom outside before, ever. So this is a, quite a new thing for us. Um, there's the equipment yard. Uh, there's the old, um, some of the old buildings that are staying on site and that we'll be continuing to, to work from. 
And uh, this is, again, just the other side of the workstations. Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> There's somebody else also doing video. <laughs> uh, <Wow>. And <laughs> yeah, no problem. And then this is another one of our built-ins um, that was completed, looks like they just put it in yesterday. Again, I haven't seen this. Um, so storage for staff, but also for kind of organizational uh, equipment and supplies. And then just a great spot to be able to kind of walk up to and work from um, obviously lay out larger materials and so on. Let's see, we'll go back downstairs. Oh, here's another nice view from, from the top. Um, again, that's our courtyard and we will be completing um, some different areas around the courtyard here in the next couple months and finishing up the landscaping but a uh, beautiful courtyard to have events and small receptions and all kinds of great opportunities to, to be together out here at our new facility. And another bathroom. This is our downstairs bathroom. <laughs> Very exciting. Let's see, we'll walk out here. Um, the woodwork here, if you haven't been here yet, um, the woodwork here is just absolutely gorgeous. We, all of these corbels were, were hand done um, and, you know, really just makes for an exceptional, artistic, functional building that is going to be here for a very long time and that we will be utilizing to its utmost capacity <laughs> very soon, starting next week. Uh, some more work to be done out here, um, of course, to finishing up some of the grading, bringing in some soil. This is all of the electrical, <laughs> a lot of new electrical, and actually this will have a fence around it uh, soon. There's the bathrooms. This is the, uh, as I discussed earlier, this is the uh, wash and pack and cooling area. This is where the, the coolers are going to go, uh, right in here. It's got a depression, so literally the coolers, you can walk directly into the cooler or wheel things in directly into the cooler. And then this is the, the wash and pack area, as you can see the gutters in the floor. Uh, and then this is really cool, probably seen it before, I hadn't, but this material here is waterproof. A lot of times you'll see these in commercial kitchens uh, and that will help because there'll be a spray nozzle that'll be coming down from the ceiling there. And this will be the wash. There'll be wash tables here uh, and areas where obviously everybody can wash their produce and pack it. And so having those waterproof, uh, the waterproof, um, you know, sides is just really going to be helpful for keeping everything in good shape here. And from a food safety perspective, we, this is all to FSMA standards and we obviously wanted to make sure to do that. Um, and walking out here, this is all going to be cleaned up in the next month or two. Uh, again, graded and weeds. Get the weeds. <laughs> and uh, over there where it is, there's just like a hole, just a pipe coming out of the ground. This is actually going to be where two 10,000 gallon stainless steel tanks are going to go. So this is going to look a lot different in a little while um, because those are our fire suppression tanks. And those are coming in on special order from Iowa, from Precision Tank in Iowa. We're very uh, thankful to them for donating those tanks to us. And uh, finally, moving out to the farming fields here, uh, doing some, some work in the barn to get everything organized. Again, if you haven't been here before, this is an absolutely beautiful um, early 1900s redwood barn. Uh, and Maureen, our farm manager and, and um, California Farm Academy uh, manager is getting everything organized and putting things in piles and she's working on um, making sure this is all a really useful space. But number one, it's an absolutely gorgeous barn. But we did, for the first time in its history, add lights. So you can see up there, <laughs> we've got lights and we've got, uh, we've actually got plugs. So that's never happened here in this barn before. Something, something different. And 
back to the back 40, so to speak, the back 20. Uh, these are the, the rest of the, the stables and, and actually all of these uh, stalls will get, these are all horse stalls, they will all get concrete on the floor and they will be able to be utilized for storage for our farmers, our incubator farmers. We've got mulch and rock back here because of, of course of all the landscaping work. Uh, we just got a uh, new tank of diesel, 500 gallon tank of diesel from Ramos uh, delivered last week. We're very thankful to them for that donation and the 500 gallons of diesel. And we've got tra our tractors out here. We just got delivered also from Grow West in Woodland, a 10,000 gallon uh, irrigation tank that is going to be hooked up next week with uh, our new irrigation system, uh, drip irrigation system, because the system here was um, only flood and sprinkler. So we're working on our irrigation system. Big thanks to uh, Grow West and to Rain for Rent for helping us with all of that. This is the, the back side of the property, the majority of which has all been in cover crops. We've been cover cropping this field for the last two years. Uh, and that field over there is also was it has been in cover crop since last fall and we're mowing it all down and it'll be uh, cover crop for another year over there to really improve the soil quality and the organic matter and uh, nitrogen levels and so forth but this area here uh, will be farmed this year by our incubator farmers and then this is our beautiful <laughs> back entrance road that uh, we needed for fire uh, fire trucks to be able to get in. So this is this is quite a quite a road, but it is all weather and it is beautiful. And we appreciate the donation from Tykert for all of the gravel. Uh, and then this is the stormwater detention basin, which we needed to put in um, per regulatory needs from what from a water a stormwater uh, requirements. Uh, and so what we've done is we've planted, as you can see, a lot of wonderful native plants uh, that uh, will provide incredible habitat here. So it's a little, little wild at the moment. There's lots of, look at those native grasses though, that's creeping wild rye that's already <laughs> two feet, three feet high and these were just seeded uh, late last year. So things are growing very well. Those late rains really helped us. Uh, but this is going to be a beautiful wildlife habitat area. There's some more shots of the creeping wild rye. Uh, just really going for it. And this was all planted. There's, um, also, there's also, uh, shrubs and, and some trees in here. Hard to see right now because they're babies. Uh, but this was all planted by the SLUES program and specifically Woodland High School, uh, last fall and in also in, they were out in February so it is a looking absolutely beautiful and I'm sorry that folks can't see it on May 14th but you're able to see it now I suppose uh, at least virtually so there's I think that's pretty much it uh, for today I hope you guys have enjoyed <laughs> this exciting virtual tour and I once again I just really want to thank you all from the you know the all of us at the Center for Land Based Learning the staff the board all of our partners uh, all of what you have done not just because of this capital campaign but for the Center for Land Based Learning for so many years um, has made this a reality and this is going to be a place on the map um, you have helped us really create a place that is going to be well known in for many many years to come and so many people will be able to come here learn uh, take what they learn and extend it out to their communities um, their farms it, it really it, it's just it's transformational it's transformational for the center for land-based learning it's transformational for for this region for this community and for this state and you um, helped us do that so we can't thank you enough I hope I know this is a long video I hope you're enjoying it and uh, I, I do hope that we can all see each other sometime soon to celebrate thank you again and have a have a wonderful weekend bye bye